On May 4, 1970, four students were shot dead by the National Guard during a peaceful protest of the United States' invasion of Cambodia. The events at Kent State shocked the world. But now, in 2008, do people remember what happened on that day? That the protesters got shot for no, for no reason whatsoever and it was unprovoked. No, I have no idea what it is. No, wait, where? Kent State. I wish I would have known about it, but I've never heard of it. No? Nope. There is protests there, and um, I think six or seven people got shot because um, um, there was a lot of chaos outside one day, and um, I think the, uh, the National Guard had to come down, and chaos ensued, and like five people got shot. And it was one of the uh, biggest events of the 60s. 1970, there was a uh, uh, bunch of students that were protesting the war, and, and the, in the, I guess they called the National Guard in, and uh, for some reason or other, uh, there was a shot fired, and the next thing you know, uh, many students got killed. And I don't really know the details of who shot the first shot, but uh, you know, it was a very uh, sad time in our history. The occurrences at Kent State caused people around the world to ask the question of who was to blame for the shootings, the National Guard or the students? It was basically, you know, it made the man look like the bad guy that they were, you know, kind of like a Gandhi thing where you, you use nonviolent protest and they use violence against, back, against you and it makes them look even worse. All right. So basically it made a point, but Do you no one needs to get killed. I don't know enough to really say, but I don't think it's... I'm pretty sure it's not justified to kill someone. Because it's not like you can pick four random people to kill out of an entire rioting group. Exactly. Like, you don't just target four people. It's all innocent students. Yeah. I, I don't like aggressive force. You support the government, but there again, you, it's you know a shame for it to absorb. Terribly sad. No, I don't think they're justified. As far as I know, it was a peaceful rally. So. That's really not a good way to end it at all. Basically, if they weren't, like, hurting anybody or, like, taking a gun to somebody and shooting them or putting anybody in, like, a dangerous path, no, I don't think they were justified at all. I think those fucking people were out of their minds. That's what I think. It's, it's definitely possible that could happen again and people need to remember. But... Didn't something like this happen like five years ago? I'm trying to think. Huh? I think a lot of times they can make a stand, but a lot of times it's not really looked as anything. You know? They, people try, but a lot of times I guess government officials don't really pay attention to it. Honestly, I don't think a lot of people protest anymore because they saw that either it didn't really work or it's, I don't know. I think most people our age gave up. I, I don't think. We're like, the machine's too big to fight, so let's just make our tiny little statements in our own way. Let's not even bother to get together in a big way. And when they do, it it really doesn't make, it makes, maybe it makes the front page and we're lucky that, but it seems like people keep doing what they're doing anyway, so why even bother? I do think it's relevant, just cause, especially now, like for us our age, we're in college, and we gotta know that sometimes we're gonna do things that other people aren't gonna like, and they might go crazy about it. And you might get shot. Uh, relevant in that hopefully we learn something.